we have a key and I have no idea what it leads to. How do the influencers do it? So, wait, I have a spoon. Some crackers. I told you this was an uncurated lunchbox. This is a half eaten bag of smart sweets. I'm so embarrassed right now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Carissa. I'm a Canadian flight attendant and I'm currently on a layover. And I've been watching these what's in my lunchbox or what's in my handbag videos for Ever, and I always find them so interesting. So I've decided I'm going to do one as well with my lunchbox. Full disclaimer before I get into this video, this is not curated and I honestly don't know what we're gonna find in here. When I'm traveling, my lunchbox is just kind of a catch-all for everything, which is strange because if you know me, I'm a very tidy person, especially in my house, but I just don't know. I don't know what we're gonna find. Let's get into it, shall we? We have company issued lunch boxes and I really love them. They have a top flap here, which is kind of my, shall we say, pharmacy. So here I have a bag, just keep um, things like band-aids and painkillers and cold medicine and this is noteworthy. I don't know where my husband gets these but they are some sort of Chinese medicine and I swear like nothing else in the entire world they cure your stomach sickness like this. On layovers it's really important because you might be eating food you're not used to or you're just feeling motion sick from bumpy shuttle rides or whatever. We have masks, gloves, these are required for our service. We have a pair of Quay sunglasses. I literally found these in a ditch. Paris Hilton must have dropped them, so I took them. I'm not worried about them getting scratched because they're just a cheap pair. Wet wipes. More masks. Shocker. This is my favorite thing that's in my lunch kit. It is called a pocket pharmacy. <laughs> Why is unzipping things on camera so hard? I use these for everything if your stomach's upset if you have a headache i use the peppermint halo they have them for pain for stress for sore muscles if you're getting a cold or something i use the fortify roller on my chest behind my ears this goes with me everywhere like i said it's a pharmacy in here but when i am traveling there are so many people that will come to me and be like do you have this or this i'm not feeling good and i'm like i got you like cramps <laughs> This is a homeopathic thing. I have really bad RLS, which is restless leg syndrome. So these are the only things that can sometimes help me get to sleep. What do you know? Hand sanitizer, but this isn't a natural brand. I don't like it so much. Oh, there is so much in here. Oh, my Apple pencil. Okay, that's where it has been. Tied to go, very important. We have my AirPods and the cute little case. Don't go anywhere without these. This is the hand sanitizer that I really like. It's by Bronner's. It's not drying like other ones. It's a disinfectant using lavender and it smells really good too. This is like a treasure chest. My vitamins that I take, I keep my melatonin in here if I need it. And I featured this on my Amazon video with this little pig sticks to the back of your phone and allows you to watch videos or whatever you need on your phone. It's just so cute. Scrunchies, Paul is born. This is such a mess. I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> this is a recent thing I bought. They're like little mittens for your finger and you brush your teeth with them just to freshen up. Roll on perfume by Versace. Okay. This is actually pretty valid. This is my can opener for service because I like to wear long nail longer nails and this saves my nails. I feel like that's good enough for the top section. That's enough embarrassment for how disorganized it is. But you can see why I call this area the pharmacy. Now let's see if in my lunch box there's any lunch. It does seem we have some food in here. I have oatmeal and I have dried strawberries and I have this honey by beekeepers and what I like to do this is kind of my average breakfast on a layover I always keep this in here is mix 
them all together for oatmeal on the go. And I will mix it up in my stasher bowl. They sent me this one. Put the oatmeal in here, some hot water, seal it, let it cook, and then I add in my mix-ins. I also have some matcha tea powder. I prefer matcha over coffee. I actually rarely drink coffee. Some tone it up protein cookies and protein bars. Recently I've tried these oatmeal cookie bar bite things. It just feels washed so much that it's just powder. This should be in the pharmacy section, but this is also by Beekeepers. It's a throat spray. If ever you just feel a tickle of something, it relieves whatever's going on. It works really well. I'm very impressed with it. This is from Organic Olivia. I've talked about one of her products on a previous video, but this is supposed to help soften tension and ease an anxious mind. I pack um, tuna, like seasoned tuna, and then if ever I get stuck, I just always know I have something that I can put on a cracker or a lettuce leaf. So I always keep my lunchbox full of those. This is something I love so, so much. This is one of those old fashioned ice packs. I love to fill it with ice and then it keeps my lunchbox cold. But on really long trips, I remember when I used to do a lot of delis or London flights, I would fill this up with hot water. And then when we would go on crew rest, where we had a few hours to nap on the flight because those flights are very long. I would put this at my feet because the bunks that we sleep in are very, very cold sometimes. So this saved my life. I have a spoon, it's helpful. Some crackers. We have some stevia drops to sweeten things without sugar. We have some Kip Curry Dutch soup packets, literally in Dutch. Kochend watertol. Even roaren in een minuut. That was really bad. I'm trying to learn Dutch, like a little bit of Dutch, and it's not going very well. I told you this was an uncurated lunchbox. This is a half eaten bag of Smart Sweets. I love Smart Sweets very much. I wonder if these are so good. Lip balm from Benefit. How do the influencers do it? Is it like... No? Okay. Because I'm Canadian, I always have ketchup packets. Always, always. So that is the inside of my lunchbox. And honestly, I'm very impressed. I actually didn't think I had any food in here. There is one more section on this lunchbox here. So let's see what's in there. So I forgot about these. These are packets of decaf coffee. I may have at some points made decaf coffee with passengers using packets instead of brewing a whole new pot. The reason why I don't even feel guilty about it is because these taste better, in my opinion, than a pot of decaf coffee. It even has like a little crema on it. I think it tastes a lot better, so I have no shame. Here's an eye mask that I have been missing, so I just found it. So that's that's exciting. Um, this holds the spoon. The spoon that was in here goes in here. And there's a fork somewhere too. We have earphones. We have a random plastic knife. <laughs> I have, oh, some dried pepperoni that just flew up to announce its presence. I told you this was uncensored. We have a converter and we have, oh, this is interesting. We have a key and I have no idea what it leads to, perhaps treasure. Well, that was my lunchbox reveal. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed being hit in the face with a dried piece of pepperoni and discovering that I not only have a key that leads to I don't know what, but also knowing that I have half a bag of dried up gummies that I can eat if I am feeling the sweet tooth coming on. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below and let me know if you want to see what's inside my purse. <laughs> I think we've all learned we don't want to see what's inside my purse. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Please comment below and say hi, and I will see you next time.